war. It's a symphony of chaos. A dance with death that no one willingly signs up for. But there I was, in the thick of it, surrounded by the staccato rhythm of gunfire and the deafening silence that followed. It was one of those days where the sun itself seemed to hide behind the clouds, almost as even the heavens knew what was coming. We were all patrol, like any other day, rolling through a dusty, worn-out street. Everything felt too quiet, like the calm before the storm. Then, it hit. Bullets slicing through the air like angry hornets, each one carrying its own terrifying message. Your training kicks in, instincts take over, and suddenly, the world slows down yet speeds up all at once. It's forty how adrenaline works. Everything becomes crystal clear yet foggy, all at the same time. We were outnumbered, outgunned. But that didn't matter. All that mattered was survival. The crackling gunfire, the smell of gunpowder, the shouts of orders mixed with cries of fear and uncertainty. They all blended into this surreal symphony of madness. I remember diving for cover behind a crumbling wall. Heart pounding so hard I could swear in the enemy could hear it. Bullets chucked away at the wall like it was made of paper. And all I could do was cling to it, like a lifeline. You think you know fear until you stare it in the eye. Until you feel the burning rush of adrenaline while trying to make a split decision that can mean life or death. There is no glory in that moment, no. Just pure survival, plain and simple. Eventually, the gunfire started to faint, replaced by the echoes of our own heavy breaths and the eatery quietness of a battleground. And in that stillness, you realize how fragile life is, how it hangs by a thread in the midst of all of this chaos. Now, we made it out, but not unscathed. Scars, physical and mental, they are attested in to what we endure. Some wounds never for the you, you know. War is, is inglorious, it's messy, brutal. It takes more from you than you can ever imagine. So, when people talk about heroes and battles, I don't see it that way. I just see people trying to make it out alive trying to cling on to whatever you men and they have left in a world that's turned upside down. I won't talk about this experience from thrill or to glory. I talk about it because maybe, just maybe, someone will listen and understand that war, war is something he never truly made behind. It's a symphony of chaos, a dance with death that no one willingly signs up for. But there I was, in the thick of it, surrounded by the staccato rhythm of gunfire and the deafening silence that followed. It was one of those days where the sun itself seemed to hide behind the clouds, almost as if even the heavens knew.